the time has come for another empties. It's a big one, so let's just get straight to it because we don't have all day. Right, first up is Norwegian Formula Deep Moisture Hyperallergenic Body Lotion. The best moisturiser for your body that you can get high end low end it's just really really good Just is divine and it's a, like six quid or something next up we have oh oski and renaissance cleansing gel uh it just the price goes up and i still love it it's just beautiful it gets all your makeup off it doesn't irritate the skin it works for most skin types it's a uk brand i just really really love it very sad about this this is honest beauty hydrogel have they stopped doing it in the uk it looks like it my whole facebook group adores this and there's the dog we can't seem to find it anywhere some people have had some luck in tk maxx it just works beautifully it's very simple it's water-based hyaluronic acids and it works on all skin types it's hydrating enough for drier skin types but it absorbs easily and it doesn't sit on the skin it doesn't cause breakouts it really is a fantastic moisturiser. If you can find it, get it. This I was very sad about. This is Hair by Sam McKnight. It's the Lazy Girl Dry Shampoo. And I thought I'm going to push the boat out and I'm going to get it. And do you know what? I tried a sample of it. I, For some reason, I had a mini bottle of it and I loved it. And I loved this and it smells nice and it does the job. Something was faulty about it. I mean, there's a bit still in the bottom, but... It won't spray anymore. I think I got two uses out of it. So whether this got stuck on and it sprayed out, but for whatever, how much it costs, I think I got three uses out of it and then that was it. I can't be doing that again, uh, which is a real shame. This, Turmeric and Botanics Radiance Day Cream, Urban Vader. I put this on my face once, never again. Awful. Oh, it smells scented. I believe you get this in some spas I, I would just save your money frankly i can't see who this is going to actually benefit but no um really sad about this look i cut it in half so now it looks like a cute mini but it's not i just cut it in half and wedged it back together again this is the baba botanicals sheer tinted sunscreen for face i bloody loved this and they don't sell it in the uk anymore I loved this. So if you're in a country where you can get this, it's properly sheer, it's light tint. It evened out my skin tone and I had the physical sunscreen cover that I would want, even if it's a rainy, horrible day. I still want physical sunscreen protection and this was it, it's just really nice. These, I have lots of these. I'm trying not to buy any new makeup and skincare and so I'm using up what I've got. And these are the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel Extra Strength Formula. You get two, one is a surface refiner and one is a deeper treatment. I have sensitive skin and these still work nicely for me. He does know what he's doing. These are quite full on, quite, um, I can't remember what's in them. I'm assuming that they are AHAs. I really like them. This, I sell this toothpaste and I'm not talking about it because I sell it. I sell it because I really like it. I have naturally stainy teeth. Um, whitening toothpaste don't seem to do the job but this one does it every single time um, I absolutely love it it's a whitening fluoride toothpaste and there's going to be a link below that you can get 10% off because I can do that then we've got hyaluronic acid serum everyone knows in my Facebook group that I really like Garden of Wisdom which you can get at Victoria Health for their serums because they're no nonsense they're they're just really well formulated and their hyaluronic acid i really like i think it's about 12 pounds lasts me about six months um it does what it says on the tin it doesn't have anything extra or nasty in it which quite a few other brands who are kind of similar to this will have a lot of other crap in there this is just really nice and i really like it i always have one on the go i always oh look you see there's another one so that's two <laughs> This is the Stilla Glitter and Glow. This was a mini one that came in a set of three that a friend gave me that I loved. Um, and I always have a big size of their bronzed bell. They're really fun if you like, if you want a kind of glittery, they're just, they're fun. I, I you know, I really like it. Um, I always do an eyeliner with it. This is Sunset Fire. 
it's just kind of fun and they come in little sets so worth keeping an eye out for this is dream Links no haircut cream and i actually really like this partly because i don't cut my hair and when i do i cut it myself um it smells nice it doesn't leave any residue on your hair so i've got quite fine hair um and it just worked really well for that so if you're looking for something that gives you a bit more oomph it's almost like brilliantine if anyone ever used um brilliantine it just kind of makes your hair look a bit more textured and cut rather than a big fluffy mess but without weighing it down this is my favourite high street concealer. Uh, it's the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I wear colour medium neutral. It does get slightly darker as it oxidises. So if you're choosing a colour and you're in between colours, go up a colour because it will darken over time. I really like it. Great coverage, doesn't sit in the creases, does everything you want. Tropic Smoothing Cleanser. Lots of reasons why I love this. I also work for Tropic, I should say. Really good basic cream cleanser. No fuss, no funny business. And when you're finished, you buy a, buy a thing like this. You take the pump out of your old one. You put the pump in the new one. And there you go. I like this mascara so much that I went to buy the full size. And I don't think you can get it in the UK anymore, which is really annoying. It's the Vapor oh they've written it so that you can't anyway it's vapor mascara and i really liked it i felt like it gave very good length without compromising on the volume and i liked the brush i liked everything about it so if you're looking for a cruelty free eco-friendly brand mascara try vapor if you can if you can get it oh look i put this in here because it's something i use all the time but because I use it all you never see it so i get the sleepy soap from lush for my kids uh they use it in the bath they love the smell and they use it all up i'm trying to use as little packaging as possible but i'm aware that i'm in an industry where there is a lot of packaging um whereas this arrives in a wrap and then they use all the soap and the wrap is paper i've also put this in here because this is my lush um, honey I washed my hair soap bar they've recently changed it I don't think the formulation is as good as it was but it's still pretty good but again I really like the fact that it arrives in a paper bag I use all the soap up this goes in the bin boom job done then we have this this is the Lumi Spa activating gel cleanser I use my Lumi Spa all the time again I sell it but I sell it because I love it my clients love it I use it in all my facials and it works best with it's activating cleanser because things like texture slip on the skin all of that so this is mine i use the sensitive one i'll put links below for this because if you have different skin type you'll need a different cleanser but i really like it look another honest beauty hydrogel i wonder if you can if you're in america watching this can you still get it in america is there just some, are they changing the packaging? What's going on? I need to know. Look, Hair by Sam McKnight. This is the mini that made me buy the big one and I loved it. Um, but as I say, the big one, something went wrong. I got three uses out of it. I would probably buy the mini one again because if something happens to the mini one, I'll be less angry. But this is the Pi Impossible Glow Highlighting Drops. These are in champagne. I love these. I've given them as gifts. I use them a lot. I rebuy them. They're just really nice. Um, the champagne colour is yellow toned, so it's great if you've got redness, if you want a bit of a glow. They also do a bronze, which is really nice, and they do a rose gold. So if you are um, a more sallow skin tone, you might want the rose gold. It's really, I, I really like this. And it's a UK brand and they're cruelty free. A lot of people are doing these kind of glow things at the moment. There's only one that I found that I prefer, but you can only, you can't get it. It's limited edition. Like I like it, I'm gonna put it up here. This you can get all the time. So that's Pi the Impossible Glow. Um, I also have the bronze, which during the summer I mix in with my foundation. One of the reasons I joined Tropic, in fact, probably the reason I joined Tropic, I use this all the time. I use this on all my facial clients. I use this on myself. 
I love it. It's the Elixir Age Defying Amiga Oil. So ignore age defying. It's a facial oil that hydrates, that improves the complexion, that brightens, that encourages collagen, healthy collagen production. It's just really lovely. Everyone should have one. I've got the Debronzi Anti-Pollution Pollution Sunshine Drops. I really like Drunk Elephant Drops. The skincare that I've tried, meh, slightly overpriced, but I really like all their drops. I've got the full size of their blusher drops. I don't wear cream bronzer that much, otherwise I'd happily buy the full size of this. And I really want to try the Goldie Drops that they're the newest thing, which look fantastic. Again, it would be like this. It would just bring such glow and oomph to the skin especially if you have dry skin dull skin mature skin it's going to be lovely these this is just beautiful blends beautifully is enough glow without being shiny really nice so if you're looking for a cream blonde bronzer i really recommend trying that these are the oscar super c smart nutrient beauty capsules i thought i would be unmoved by these because i find beauty capsules are a bit of a gimmick sometimes that to me they feel like they are but actually these really did have a nice effect on my skin. They brightened. Uh, it was sort of, they. I, I, this is a sample size and I could, even with the sample size, uh, see a difference. And quite often I moan about samples because I'm like, by the time you're not, you're not going to get consistent enough use to see any benefits. But with these I did and I really like them. And if I could, I would buy them. They're just quite expensive but if you're looking for a, a vitamin c product vitamin c is there to reduce hyperpigmentation uh improve glow and that kind of thing and these really did give me a glow this again i'm not sure if this company is staying in the uk but this is the sample of the Kajer vice uh sun touch cream blush and i really liked it they are a brand where you buy the compact and then you just buy the refills uh the cream blush is lovely i'm quite picky about cream blush this was beautiful um really recommend it this and this these two brands were on naturismo if you want guidance on uh more ethical brands the naturismo is a really good place to go this was recommended to me by my friend fee who knows how much i love a liner pen and this is by Inglot who make as far as I'm concerned the best gel liner they've done it again I really like this pen liner it's called one move liquid liner I'm wearing it today I wear it every day it's really easy to use it has enough liquid on the brush but not too much liquid um, I've trashed the brush a bit there but it's really easy to use I just really like it that is a, a rebuy. Then we've got this, which is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I've rebought this a load of times. Some people don't love it. I really like it. I'm really trying not to buy non cruelty free products. So this was a cruelty free mascara that really ticked the box for me in terms of length and volume. I really like it. Up Circle Cleansing Face Bar with fine powder of discarded apricot stones. So ethical that they're discarded. But I really liked this. I don't like all up cycle, up circle stuff, but I really liked this. I like a texture of a cleansing balm. It was brightening. It got all my makeup off. It didn't irritate the skin. Um, so that's a great choice. And I think it would work for all except for oily skin types. And then this, this I'm bitter about. So this is the Tropic Sun Glazed Shimmer Facial Bronzing Drops. For me, this has been the best illuminator that I've added to my foundation to give me a bit of extra glow that I've ever tried. It is not a permanent product. They only do it sometimes. I absolutely love this. I love it for a bit of glow. I love it for highlighting on the cheeks. I love it for, I mean, it's just really beautiful. And I, it just makes me really angry that it's not a permanent product. So if you can track it down, or if you see it come up on a Tropic sale, get it. It is beautiful. And that's my empties. Any questions, as always, let me know. I hopefully will have put all links below to these products. There's a lot of them. But I did also think, yep, I'm now going to start including products that I don't like. I hope you're all well, and I'll see you soon.